friends welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you my december daily album um i have to say that i am not quite finished with my foundation pages but then again i have quite a few um ideas already and i'm going to show you what i have done um but december is going to be um in uh, let's see three four in seven days time uh that will be the first of december and i think i've done quite enough in terms of this is my second december daily and i am going to um show you a snippet of my um 2021 december daily which is still today not finished uh, that said, it's uh, absolutely normal um, not to have uh, one or even more than one of the albums finished, but I am almost there. I have, uh, in terms of that um, album, I have all of my photographs already edited and they are ready to print. It's just a matter of cutting and then pairing with a journaling. Um, but what I'm going to show you today here is how it has evolved into the second album so um you may see a little bit of the products from the december daily main kit here and the um paisley press mini kit um, this is from last year but um okay i'm just going to stop stop rambling and just show you so i have gone for the floral uh, album from Paisley Press which sold out almost immediately um, it's beautiful it's in a dark background it's on a black background uh, which as you may know um, I'm not very fond of black but this I don't mind because it has so many colors and also the uh, uh, these flowers are um, foiled now I am keeping some notes, um, mental notes that is, I have written down a few things, but I, uh, for next year, because <clears throat> things get in the, uh, in the process of, you know, building and whatnot, things get a little bit of spoil, a little bit spoil. And, um, uh, and that's even before December starts. So I have gone and put my, um, year with the stamps this is a set of stamps that i've had for uh quite some time they are not clear they're the, the uh, traditional uh wooden um set of number stamps and alphabet actually does have a, an alphabet and uh, i use that because i did not get all <laughs> even though i wanted to i did not get everything from ali edwards um release which was amazing so I am going to um, show you, I hope it's all, uh, I'm just going to jump a little bit up and see whether, yeah, you can see everything uh, this way. So this is from the um, Paisley Press mini kit, um, which also sold out by the way. Um, her name is Liz Tamanaha. And she came up with it. She always does, apparently. Uh, again, this is my, my second year. And on the first year, I only did buy the main kit. So she includes a calendar, which I have um, glued onto um, the back of the front cover. And I have started um, by using one of the transparencies, which is unfortunately already a little bit scratched. Um, you may not see that. Uh, on screen but I can uh, so it reads may your days be merry and bright which I love I think this one was already uh, six by eight which is the the um, the size of the album I did buy the Santa but the Santa is for Christmas pasts which I'm already gathering um, data in this case like stories and uh, photographs but there is a that's going to be a long-term project. Um, this is one of the... Um, now, I can't remember whether it was part of the... 
uh, foundation pages from the prep day or it was just Alice sharing on her YouTube channel um, how she set this up. She, of course, uses a 10 by 8 album. I translated that story into uh, a 6 by 8 and I did make some changes. For example, I didn't go uh, with the um, background um, shaker pocket. Um, at the time, I did not have the sequences. I, I had already ordered them, but they were not here. So I went for this tissue paper, actually, which is from the Happy Planner Feeling Festive Be Happy box which has all the little trees behind. So I thought that it was a good combination of a transparency, um, sort of, because it's not vellum, vellum, but it is tissue paper. And it, because it's all very tight, it's, um, it's not going to tear easily, unless obviously with heavy fingers. And I could have, it's normal that sometimes I break things. But anyway, I use the uh, felt circles or half circles with the uh, um, journaling circle and I um, what I did here this is my second attempt and unfortunately I might pair it with a photograph at the back I still don't know um, most of the things here are open-ended so it might change on the day or even afterwards um, because I like in this case I don't want to put any photographs that are uh, before then, uh, even though today is um, the 25th of uh, November when I'm filming this, um, I haven't made any uh, recent photographs of us so far. So uh, it's probably going to be um, a wee photograph of us at the back or the cats or the house. I don't know. I will see on the day. So what I did was uh, I created a circle in Photoshop. Um, I use Photoshop. And I um, made some uh, text into that, um, or I wrote text into that circle. And then I printed it and then I pre uh, placed this circle on top of it, aligning as much as I could because this is quite thick card and I didn't have really... Um, I used this um, this ring light, but I couldn't see the they already printed on, on the paper. So it's a little bit shifted onto that way. So what you do is you just place um, the uh, this circle in this case, or or where you want the journaling um, to print or to be printed on, and you just put a little bit of washi tape around so this cardstock does not move when it goes through the printer. So it the printer printed directly onto this circle. And I just embellished it a little bit because it doesn't really need much more than that. And then I use the Jingle Bells, which is one of my favorite uh, Christmas songs. Um, these are just the, um, the word stripes, or in this case, the Christmas song lyric uh, lyrics um, strips. And I paired it with December 2022 because, again, I have not used any numbers here. I thought of putting two um, twos on this side, but I might change my mind. I just use a stamp, for example. Um, so I still, I'm thinking that I'm going to use this uh, calendar uh, to track the weather. But I might, again, I might change my mind. So I'm leaving it uh, open-ended. And okay, so I put December 2022 in there. That marks the year. At the back, I use this. Um, this is part of the main kit, I believe. Yes, because I didn't get the extra paperback. I did get the craft one, which comes with um, acetate or transparencies and vellum. Um, so I cut as much as I could, to be exact. I didn't put it through my Cricut because um, I'm silly and I didn't do that, but I should have done that. And I paired, uh, this is another paper, which you will see it later on with the houses, um, the busy sidewalks. And this is another idea from Ali. She used it to um, uh, 
uh, for as a table of contents, which is what I did here. She gave us the um, the actual script contents um, to download and cut um, uh, on our uh, cutting machines, and we use all the strips for um, to to denote the uh, or to number the, uh, the the contents of the book. So this is basically going to be um, filled in um, by hand uh, on the day that I choose what to write. So. I have done 1 to 31 because that's the plan to do it and I might actually take it to um, Epiphany. I will see how that goes but uh, because that's my home traditions. Um, other people have used it to um, do uh, something to be thankful for. Uh, thankful for. Uh, so a gratitude list, I decided to go with Alice Idea, which is her first time doing it uh, as a table of contents and uh, that is lovely, I think. Then I've gone with um, things that I, I have, you will see a lot of post-its in here. So this is one of the ideas from the... Um, uh, prep day maybe no um, this is from the product play so you have to take the class um, which is $25 and you will have access to all the content and um, any files that are given on the day now not all of the classes um, have extra um, files but you are encouraged to, to be using the obviously the, the products within the main kit or similar then again you can make your own if you don't have the kits um but i did have um i did buy the kits for the um stamp which is a tax stamp i did not buy the physical stamp so i bought the digital i um made this one all these color ones I made it in Photoshop and then I put it through the cutting. Um, I cut it by hand actually, which is why some of the circles are a bit wonky. So the idea is that, um, I need to make this one. The idea is that um, there's going to be a photo behind which will peep through the hole here. And I cut it smaller than the actual vellum tag, which is from the main kit. And it will have some journaling at the back. So it's probably going to be... Um, so we have the tag, we have the vellum, we have the photograph. And on the back of the photograph is going to be the journaling. And in there, I am... I, ha I am debating what to write. But it's going to be something like our name, our age, what we're looking forward to and whatnot. So I have four tags because in my family we're four, in my immediate family we're four. So my husband, myself and our two cats. And of course with cats is just, we're going to make it up. And I've used this beautiful um, paper from the Christmas baskets and I put a uh, a little bit of transparency and then I uh, saw it on my sewing machine at the back we'll have a photo of something I have put this vellum because I think it looks cool but it might not be or I might put the vellum and then smaller photographs <coughs> pardon me um, just because there is a lot of circles in this theme um, this is one of the page protectors with the two by two um, slots and I'm going to uh, dedicate number two for uh, hot chocolate. Now um, I love hot chocolate and I tend to drink it mostly in winter and specifically uh, for Christmas. So I have included a little bit of um, ephemera from um, Cartabella one of the uh, the stamps from Ali, um, which is, is the, sir, the messy circles, and um, this is a transparency from Plenithy last year uh, from the uh, advent calendar. I had a little bit which I used somewhere else 
so I um, there is a little bit missing here but I don't mind that so I'm sticking that in the corner for the time being and I have this vellum that I have to cut this is part of Ali Edwards um, kit um, main kit that is and with a, a cocoa sticker or a hot chocolate sticker a hot chocolate mug <laughs> and the number two which I also got as digitals and I printed my own for um, day three the plan is the advent calendars I'm just waiting for two more and I will be ready so I can actually take the photograph of my advent calendars uh, before even before December starts if it arrives uh, in a couple of days that is before Thursday it doesn't matter anyway, even if it arrives on the day, I can do that that day. I'm not going to be putting myself in a, in a position where something has to happen on the day. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Uh, I will work hard into making it probably in the evening. And um, because I don't want to spend time in my atelier during the day when we could be, you know, just having fun and by having fun it could be absolutely nothing but just enjoying the moment of uh, the quiet days of december for us um so that's going to go here because it's the little uh the back of the number two i'm going to have a little bit of journaling a few small photographs so uh little bits and pieces and then here will be a full photo of um, the um, the calendars so on the back of it I could use that as a um, another photograph another six by eight photograph outside a page protector or um, whatever I choose and the idea is that on the fourth is going to be four things I'm loving for example so I could add even more photos in here or um, a general photo of our house, for example, and the little bits inside. So that's what the heart, the notes of things that I'm loving. Uh, the back could be just, again, another photograph. I don't know how this is going to pan out as yet, but um, I love the idea that it could also be more hearts. But let's see how that goes. So um, this is a part of prep day. Uh, prep day is to happen on the 12th of November and it's 10 hours or 10 consecutive hours of absolute beautiful content and community gathering and, um, you know, just being together, um, rooting for each other to start our December dailies. And um, this, is, this was the first class uh, given by Ali and um, the idea was to create a sort of a pocket um, she did it completely differently uh, or in this case I did it completely differently from um, her idea and um, she gave the tag um, files and we just cut them and we use this is of course part of the uh, the main kit um, papers and we just for one of those days that you just don't want to do much so it doesn't have a number i could have included the number inside but i didn't want to have the number because i didn't know exactly when so again this is one for uh, my husband my two cats and myself and that will go here and um, this is going to be, a, you know, the same formula where the back is going to be either just pattern paper or a full page photograph. And um, this is going to be, for example, um, decking the holes or starting decorating the house. If this ends up being here, for example, day six, then <clears throat> I'm going to put um, a big photo on the back of this paper. And... The journaling, this card is from uh, last year's kit. There is a transparency here, uh, which is, uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Chris, like December, sorry. Twinkling lights, Noel, 
uh, brown paper packages and so on and so forth and it's really it's really pretty maybe if I could use this paper there so I have the seven on this side because it's a transparency um, and it'll probably be a photo here this is my sticky note to remind me so on this side is going to be the same um, the same idea it's of course read back backwards but it doesn't matter because it's um, it's the same uh, element and it will give the same uh, feeling this could be a photograph this could be more journaling i don't know what it's going to be on the eighth so so far i i do have ideas written down and i'm going to show you that but i uh, again it's not final this is one of the papers from last year and this is my number nine and i have uh, i cut um a row uh, of three there and this is nine things i'm loving about my cats so I'm going to put the two photos of uh, each of our cats at the moment and then write things or more photos uh, and just two pieces of uh, journaling or just journaling. I have no idea yet. So um, this is going to be nine. I just put it in this uh, full page protector and it has the number there. So I don't want this specific paper to, to spoil, but it's quite thick, thicker than that this year's i think so for number 10 this was also um a class from ali and this was prep day i uh, using the tag uh, stamp which i got the digital version this is the paper i told you is uh, this doesn't belong here we're going to put it on the side which is the back of this circle so this is part of this paper so i like um, because these papers are 10 by 8 outside the page protector. Um, I don't like, I, I try to waste very minimally. So I have cut my bit for this, um, for this album. And then the extra, I find ways to uh, incorporate it again. So you will see quite a little bit of repetition. The same thing for the tags. Um these tags you see this paper is this paper so um you will find that so let's go back to uh 10 things i'm thankful for and uh, that's what i'm going to write on the day 10th this is probably the very finished um and it was my first one um the very finished um page or um yeah foundation page which i can just come on the tent and write it i don't have to come down uh, i'll probably take it um the day the night before with me and keep it upstairs and then that's it uh so now number 11 it's this is it on the day 11th is a sunday so i am probably going to dedicate that sunday into making biscuits uh, it's going to be the first time I make biscuits. I do love the tradition of biscuits uh, or Christmas biscuits. Uh, unfortunately, in the previous years, we did have the tradition, but we used to buy them because we were lazy in many ways and because they make the products so attractive and beautiful that we say, well, just we'll just buy it. It was typically from Marks and Spencer, if you know Marks and Spencer at all, it's a shop in the UK and they make beautiful food and for Christmas it was Marks and Spencer uh, cakes and biscuits and whatnot. But this year, because I have changed my eating habits, I am uh, going to be making things. One, because I will be making less Two, because um, there are certain ingredients that do not agree with me and so on and so forth. So it has the same formula of having the transparency on this side with a number. And then I will probably add photographs, the journal here. This journal card, I think this is from Paisley Press. So it has, um, you could use either or. So the back is uh, just plain. Uh, black on white although this line is slightly green 
and I'll show you later on which green that is because it's throughout the year. Um, the collection and it's the same here but um it has this sort of it's not gold but it's a little bit bronze um and this light blue it reads it's lovely weather for and then you choose whether it's baking cookies a leisurely walk cozying up uh by the fireplace staining putting up holiday decorations so it will depend on the uh, color palette on the day um, that I will be making the uh, biscuits, but I can turn it around and use this side. It will depend. So uh, that's also open-ended, but it's definitely going to happen on the 11th. Uh, this is also part of, I need to stick this properly, uh, part of uh, product play. This is one of the classes uh, where you make shaker pockets. This shaker pocket I don't love, but I don't hate. So I don't know. Um, I have a couple of ideas for my tree um, story, but I don't know which one I'm going to choose. This is a full page protector, so it doesn't really matter if I don't use it because um, I just glued it here um, with um, washi tape. Uh, and so the idea is that there is a, the photograph of my of my tree uh, in the background and this is obviously uh, like looking from outside into the house uh, with this tree which is funny because then this tree is like with snow and whatnot so I, I don't know I love the idea I use one of the um, papers from the uh, Christmas basket and I just stamped uh, love this tree with uh, the Mackenzie um, Ali Edwards um, ink, which is, it looks really dark and you think it's black, but it's not, it's green, it's this beautiful green. Um, so that's in here. Um, here are more um, trees. This comes, this die cut comes within the kit. So this paper is actually here and I have a couple of ideas, well, not really. I have, there is one idea from Nolana and I'm going to put her uh, YouTube um, here, um, her YouTube handle. Uh, she has amazing ideas for her December dailies. I love every single one of them. So I might um, borrow her idea and this is here because then I can do cuttings and then of, of this die cut and then glue them back to back and then the one at the end might have which is going to look like this uh, but maybe in this color uh, my journaling and yes so this is here this was to support this because I thought of making uh, more trees die cutting some of the papers and then create a pocket with a white background or not it could be a transparency I don't know but this idea with this paper uh, came later so it's there um, this I love this was one of the ideas from uh, Pam Baldwin for the uh, Christmas basket she used this paper which is the same um, design for the 10 by 8 album um, it was a letter to it was not a letter to Santa but a letter about Santa and it needed to be uh, in an envelope because it was not really for uh, the ears of the little ones so I have borrowed that idea but in, instead of creating the um, envelope that looks like um, sorry about that that looks like this which is a set of envelopes from Ali Edwards these are actually from Ikea so it's but it has the same sort of I think it's tie tie up uh, envelopes that are called. Um, I wanted to use this in my album, but they're massive, so I might have to use them next year for the ten by eight album. Uh, so what I did is that I just used the entire paper. This is the entire paper. I scored it and then glue uh, this here and here. Um, unfortunately, afterwards I did some rethinking and I use one of my happy planner plastics the ones that come 
you know within the planner when you buy a new planner and whatnot i cut because it's very sturdy so you can see here because it's only attached to one side i cut a slit uh with my exacto knife i should have done that when i folded this before gluing it back but never mind i have the idea now for next next time i do something like this the plan is to do a little thumb hole here which is a half half circle uh, but now i'm thinking uh which is why um this is here uh to put this this is just a journaling card that i cut from um i'll show you this later um a tag from the uh christmas basket and i thought of putting that i thought maybe using this this is still here but maybe not so use this or maybe attach it somehow this is a giant tag that i made of cardstock uh, this is just the template this is not for inserting here but it will have a tag so maybe what i could do is do a tag on a tag and then insert my giant story uh with the idea is with a uh, with this uh, brand although i did order star ones but i already made the hole in this thing so i don't think it's going to work because oh no it's fine because the hole is still out so i can just reinforce this hole it's going to stick up a bit but i don't mind i'll see i will see how i want to do this um and the idea is that i write myself i put a letter to santa but i i tried to do that last year and i wrote mine bruce didn't write his so what i'm going to do is probably write a letter to myself uh where is this thing? and um just uh, include this because i love this this card where it reads uh which is dear christmas i love you thank you love me and i think it goes beautifully because santa is christmas uh even though my my own culture is slightly different um which baby jesus is christmas um i don't know where that thing went um but anyway you you take the meaning of i have more of those because i have loads of this pink things that I had for years and years um, which are finally getting some use so that's supposed to be on the 17th because that's what I have for the 17th but again it might change so I thought because it has this I might put this or I might put a photo it depends on what I'm going to put here now this is going to be again another story i love this because this is part of liz tamanaha's from paisley kit uh, paisley press um kit um december on the one side i'm going to do some journaling here but what i love is that her papers are printed both sides so um you have a tiny grid here and um with two colors two tones one green one blue i believe and so because it's in black even though it's not the same black um i'm going to put the journaling here and then six things six things i do not know what about but i have this um thread which i want to use to make um circle photographs or circle journaling and they will be interactive because then you can play with them and they sort of turn around and it will obviously have the backing now whether the backing is going to be so the same or a uh, part of a, the following story i don't know <laughs> i don't know yet now this is the um part of the main kit paper and i have taking one of the ideas from the um product play i'm going to put all of these links um into uh the screen because i i can't remember the persons even though i am 
keeping track of them on my uh, happy planner um, month view or monthly view and the idea is to make this as a little pocket and uh, insert photographs and as to not use this much so you can you can see this paper because i think this paper is absolutely beautiful um again this is a tree related story so i do not know whether it's going to be the day we buy the tree or the day we decorate the tree which is not on the same day uh for us so this is a transparency that has um the lights three lights i'm going to just put this one like this so you can see so it's a bokeh um photograph printed on transparency and it's beautiful so it i have been debating whether it's going to go on to a plain white i don't know yet because then you can see it more uh, but now i have the idea because i i don't want to keep things at one i don't know what to do with them or two i don't really like them or three i like them too much and i'm going to keep them for you know hoard them i don't want to do that anymore so the idea is that i put this here so um if i don't write my journaling here this could be another photo you know a strip of the photograph of the tree uh, a bear tree for example before um, um at the farm where we buy it and then paired with photographs here of afterwards when it's um, been uh, put up and has the lights and all the decorations and then here i will be inserting journaling which i will be doing in um, word i have set up a document to put all of my journaling in word with a specific font as, at a specific size i just make uh, text boxes of the dimensions i needed to print on i print them obviously on a on an um a4 uh, sheet and then i cut so when i cut i don't cut just to the edge of the words um, but just a bit more because then i can insert it here i need to find a way of inserting so i'm thinking of uh doing a um a slit just like i did with a uh, santa paper because i don't know if i will be able to take this apart and it's going to be neat so i just i can just put a slit here big enough to put my paper through because then i can i can pull it through the inside and this seems to have gotten a bit damaged here which is annoying so um let's open this a bit so that's the idea for this page and then we have this is the newest product play that i've watched that i really like the the, um, the concept of it so um this is going to be a story that is not specific but it is the same thing what matters so it could be anything about us um so it's going to have a photo and journaling or it's going to have a photo journaling and the same here a photo on the insides and the journaling on the flap side um i need to be careful because these things are making marks and this is one of the transparencies from the i want to say the the main kit but it can i think it's actually from the uh craft specialty paper pack um i was going to remove the backing but i left it because i get annoyed when things get a bit scratched so that's there this is a um, a transparency from the main kit and it reads believing magic i still do not know how i'm going to be using this so it just lays here um this i completely copied it from another december daily um maker um she turned um this into 
uh, I think it was from the Facebook group actually um, when I saw it I just put two color ribbons it's not finalized yet because I I need to put a, a number uh, I don't have extra numbers here but the number is going to be here uh, I don't know what number is going to be yet so that's why it's not there um, so that's um, present so I, all uh, presents are stacked I use again uh, paper this background here this has a little bit of washi from Ikea that I cut very thinly and that again is the same paper as this one which is the one here at the table of contents um, which is just the, the, the sky bit which has the um, the snowflakes and the other ones are paper from last year from last year from last year this is i think from this year but i um use my jelly roll to do that these two presents are from uh, the main kit i did copy that each one because they're layer uh, or layered and i copy that and i made my own with the uh, this year's paper these are actually this year's paper part of the uh, craft specialty paper and the two presents and this one um this green crosses are from last year as well so a little bit of ribbon here and here to give it some dimension because it's it's quite thick and i put some foam in this one so I don't know what it's going to be. It could be a full photograph um, made out of the tag shape. I don't know. Um, again, this one is here. The stars are brightly shining. The stars are brightly shining. So it's the same. I could do... Um, I think I have the cut file for this one. I have to check whether it's the same. Uh, but I do have a cut file. So the idea is that either I write the journal in the white bit and then I put a photograph here or I make it into two. So it's a full photograph divided or, you know, into sections, a double spread photograph of the star shape. And let's see, I don't know. And then obviously it's going to have a back. It's probably be just pattern paper or more journaling or another photograph. I don't know. So this is a, just a divider. I do not know how to use this one yet. Uh, it's probably going to be used on Christmas Day, on the 25th. Uh, so that will be on top of uh, a full um, page photograph of us. Uh, or the house, or I don't know. I have this one, believe. I don't have any uh, holes punched yet because I, I do have marked them on this side. But I don't know whether I'm going to use this side or that side. So um, this could actually be the back of the photograph that I'm going to place here. And this lays on top. Um, I don't know. Um, this is a transparency from last year. I'm sure you it has, or I will show you. It has these six wreaths. Now, I wanted to use this with the six holes. Um, this one but they don't match so I could cut it and then make it match that could be an option but at right now I don't know so I love it because it has this gold foil um, after that I have another die cut from the main kit and Mary and Bright uh, with gold foil edging and Again, I might do a double heart spread with just a photo and the journaling at the back. I kind of like this, so I am going to leave this as is. i probably put a number, uh, embellish it a bit, and that's it. Uh, we have two half circles. We have Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, Let Your Heart Be Light. And then we wish you a Merry Christmas. So um, the lyrics, the Christmas lyrics. I have no idea how I'm going to use this again. Ali had an idea of her uh, wrapping paper, which I loved. Um, I might have to, but they don't line up if you turn them around. So for example, like this. Um, but I might make it work. It's just slightly off 
um, because this has white and my actually it's, it's just like a millimeter difference I'm gonna make it work and then um, this is one story related to this and this this is another story related to that or just the um, landing page with a number the photo and then the journaling so that could work this is part of the product play again how to use grid at the moment i have um i set it up it was this is from last year i think might have been this year i can't remember i'll have to check i'll put it in the screen and i just used the uh, vellum from this year's uh, kit the um transparency from the uh, either the main kit or the uh, uh, specialty paper uh, and craft the houses from last year this is from this year's circles how we do christmas this is also uh, the same as the um, messy circle stamps uh, the santa which i have to clean up it got some uh, dust from um, erasing something um uh, the um, layered Santa, they're layered, the two layers of them, which I loved um, from the main kit. This is from a digital stamp and these are from my stamps. This is from um, Plenty Thing and this is from Ali Edwards. I'll show you. I do not know whether I have made a video. I think I have. Um, I will link it in the description as well. If you can go to my um, Instagram, I did uh, do the stories um, of all of the products that I order uh, for my December daily. So you will be seeing the Ali Edwards stuff in there. So at the back, I left it that way and I put the um, main kit uh, set of washi, ta uh, washi tapes. I made um, a mirror present on this side and I just uh, drew some uh, spots with I think it was this guy it's either the, no no it was a Posca it was this Posca I believe it was this Posca because I have quite a few I might have used another one I can't see it but I think it was this one or I might have seen one of these three which are my my gold pen uh, or pain markers um, so I, I did that to set it off a bit from the previous one and because this um, acetate or transparency um, has gold foil uh, on the back is silver so it does match with a white um, a vellum white and white now I don't know what's going to be here, but this is going to be filled similarly. So I, you can see less or not because it depends. It could just be a photograph. So it will be part of a photograph in the background. And we'll see how this pans out. I have this transparency here. This is from the main kit and it's a 10 by eight. And I cut it down to fit my album. All things merry and bright. And it still has the backing i believe yeah it still has the backing and this is part of uh, product play um that happened on no sorry um this is from ali on prep day she made a set of three i think it was um three um stockings she gave the files, we downloaded the files and we put them through our cutting machines with the paper we most liked. These are the two papers from last year, uh, main kit. This is my own washi tape from the washi tape shop, Alice washi tape uh, from the main kit. And this is from last year, this is from this year and unfortunately it's upside down but never mind so i just did the two for the two of us i might do another two and then have them um double spread i don't know yet i have a piece of uh, transparency here this is inkjet so i can print on it i haven't put holes yet because i don't know what i'm going to print on it 
and finally so far i have plenty more products but so far i have this one here i want to use it because i find it very difficult to use these green ones it has beautiful gold snowflakes uh, but i find it's a bit hard to find a way how to use this one so it's probably going to be something that i'm going to attach on it rather than um you know um using it as a layer but we'll see so what i've done so far um i've brought a little bit of my uh, embellishments because um just to give you an idea of how i'm thinking through is that put this aside i have done my um this is the shape of a, a tag from the christmas basket i just cut um just regular craft white craft paper and i stamped on it and i embossed it and this is from uh, my set of stamps from ali edwards i've done this one so far but more are coming and i have this one as an example of uh, am i might set another stamp on top or close to it um but these are journaling cards uh, or a way of writing journaling and it could be attached with ribbon or just put as is in one of the page protectors uh, slots um and the journaling at the back here the journaling at the front and then a photograph at the back that kind of thing um i have this messy circle um these are i think these have yeah and these have adhesive at the back so these are not chip boards but they're like foam um messy circles so or they could just house different things um I have done the same as with the other one. I just lay it on top and cut the edges and then punch a hole and that's a new journaling card or a tag or you can use it as however you want. So um, you can embellish this in many different ways uh, depending on your story. Uh, these are uh, chipboard stickers. So um, this is from the Paisley press kit. So they just pop out of there and these are puffy stickers again from the paisley press kit um which i love so it's it's just a matter of finding whatever it is that i want to say on the day so i hope that you didn't get bored <laughs> because one of these these videos um there's a little fruit fly um i know they take quite a long time to go through and to be honest i feel like i have I, I don't have enough uh, foundation pages, but I think I have more than enough for the stories I want to tell. And um, I just think that I need to have a couple of stories that are ready just to write down. Um, like, for example, um, the, uh, the tags uh, from Ali. These tags, where if I feel overwhelmed on the day, I can just... That's why it doesn't have a number. So we can just be done and not spend too long um, on creating a page because I understand that, um, you know, it could be, we could have friends, we could envision that it's going to be quiet, but then it doesn't turn up to be quiet and whatnot. And then I get out of balance and I don't want to do that again because I haven't finished my 20, uh, 21 album but in any case i hope you have a beautiful day whatever it is you're doing and if you don't mind give me a thumbs up and if you would like to see any more of my future videos which will be coming i know i took a very long break but they are coming uh, i'm coming back with a lot of beans um you will enjoy those as well so take very good care of yourselves and happy vlogmas bye